Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a self-care routine and it's officially the season for dry skin, crusty lips, and ashy feet, but it does not have to be this way. So I'm gonna show you how I stay moisturized and glowing all year round. So let's just jump right in and make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoy. When it comes to self-care, I love to get the vibes right. So here, I'm setting up my diffuser with a nice warm autumn scent to match the season. I'm usually a candle girly, but lately this has been my go-to for my self-care showers. I also put on some music on Spotify, and lately I've been obsessed with listening to Japanese lo-fi. It's just so chill and relaxing. I like to give myself a little scalp massage after having it in a tight hairstyle all day to help with circulation and it just feels really good. I also comb out any knots with this comb before going in with my hair growth serum which I'm going to show you in a bit. So I just started using this serum by Vegamore again after a few years and the last time I used it my hairstylist was so shook at how my baby hairs were actually growing out since I do have a thinner hairline so I can tell you that this works. So I'm just putting my hair up in a bun to let the product marinate and do its thing until I wash it out in the shower later. Also replacing my old eucalyptus with a brand new bunch and it is important to trim off any dead ends beforehand and a trick to make eucalyptus smell more or work better I guess in the shower is to give it a little roll beforehand and I didn't have a roller so I'm using this wine bottle but it releases the scents so much better I've definitely noticed a difference since I started doing this and now we're pretty much ready to jump into the shower. So once I get into the shower, the first thing I like to do is exfoliate my entire body. I was not always fond of exfoliation, especially because I have such sensitive skin i felt like it actually irritated me more but picking your products wisely is definitely the key to doing this so i'm going in with my exfoliation gloves which i've been loving lately it just helps me get into all the little places that you can't usually reach with a loofah and i am using the necessaire body wash it seems like the kind of product that is just trendy because of the aesthetic but it does foam pretty well and it smells nice and again it does not irritate my sensitive skin So after exfoliating, I will go in and shave. And yes, I like to shave. I'm not a big waxing girl. I don't think I will ever be. To me, it sounds like a medieval torture method, honestly, like ripping the hair out of your follicles. I know that my skin will probably not be able to handle all that. So I go in with my little Venus razor and shaving cream and just shave my legs, my underarms, happy trail, bikini area, all of that. And then after shaving, I do go back and exfoliate again, but with a very gentle exfoliant. And this one is by Frank Bod. I've used them a lot in the past years, and I think what I love about it the most is that the coffee grounds, first of all, smell amazing, and it feels very gentle and leaves my skin feeling very supple and soft. It leaves your skin feeling like you just put body oils on it. The only issue that I do have though is that it can make a little bit of a mess in the shower, but it's fine, it's easy to clean up. So after rinsing off everything, I will go in with this Olaplask Hair Mask. Ooh, 
that was hard to say, Olaplex hair mask. You pretty much use this on damp hair. I squeezed out the water out of my hair a little bit beforehand and put this mask all over my hair, especially on the tips. Leave that on for 10 minutes before washing it off. And then I go in with my shampoo and conditioner again from Olaplex. I do really like this brand. I have naturally curlier hair and it was hard for me to find a product that does not leave a lot of buildup. And I love using my scalp massager right after shampooing to really get the product deep into my roots. So then I just go in with the conditioner and focus that on the ends of my hair. Sometimes I like to comb out my hair here and detangle, but since I already did that beforehand, it was not necessary. Then I just go ahead and rinse everything off and jump out of the shower. So after I'm done showering, it's time to soothe and moisturize my whole skin and body and I like to go in with Furs Ingrown Hair Oil. I just use this on the areas where I shaved, so my underarms, bikini area, and my legs. Then I go in with Josie Marin's Whipped Argan Oil Cream. It is this super thick and creamy lotion that just feels amazing. It does feel like you're putting on butter on your skin but it's not too thick and it doesn't clog your pores. It also doesn't have a really strong scent to it, which I can appreciate because again, overly scented products and too much perfume on my skin tends to irritate it. But just look at the little glow it leaves me with. Like this nice little sheen is cute. And then I actually go in with a foot mask. And this is how I avoid the ashy feet, the rough heels, and it looks cringy because you are pretty much putting on a wet sock, but I'm telling you guys it works and it's worth it and you should give it a try. So I left that on for about 20 or 30 minutes. Now I'm just detangling my hair without any products and I'm putting on my little towel headband to prepare for skincare later. But before that, I'm gonna be using these teeth whitening strips by Crest. I like to use the ones that are made for sensitive teeth. I find that it doesn't leave my teeth feeling super sensitive to like cold or warm drinks afterwards and it works just as fine for me. So I'm gonna apply those and leave them on while I am doing my entire skincare routine. And now my absolute favorite part is the skincare and I am gonna be using all Korean and Japanese products today. They have a focus on being like anti-inflammatory and soothing, which is exactly what I need for my skin right now. You're gonna notice I use these a lot by how empty my products are. So here I'm actually using this makeup remover and I usually use it on a little cotton round but I ran out so I just use it on my hands and it works just fine anyways. Then I go in with this foaming cleanser. It does have aloe vera in it which makes it very nice and soothing on my skin. It also foams very nicely so it really does get deep into the skin and removes any remaining makeup and dirt that I might not have gotten out earlier. I wash that off and dry off my face I like going in with this essence and I hadn't really ever used essence before pretty much just adding a little bit of moisture back into my face and balancing out any areas that might still be a little bit dry I've been obsessed with drying my face lately by the way with a little fan it just speeds up the drying process and so I'm gonna be using this face mask by The Cream Shop. I absolutely love their face masks. I've been using them for years. This one contains vitamin C and retinol, and so I left that on my face for about 10 minutes. Then I removed 
removed it and rubbed all those lovely juices and oils back into my skin and yeah I'm just having too much fun with this fan <laughs> Next, I like to use this sort of moisturizing water by Curel. I like using a lot of more water-based products instead of creamy products. I just find that they seep much more deeper into my skin. While my face is still drying, I like to go in with the gua sha and massage my jaw, my cheeks, forehead, neck, and all of that. I had not gua sha in a long time, so my face actually looks a little bit swollen here, but every single time that I'm doing this, I immediately notice a difference afterwards. And I can do a more detailed gua sha routine if you guys want, just leave a comment down below. I end it all off with this moisturizing milk, I think it's called, um, but it is a cream. It still is really light gonna be rubbing that all over my face and neck to seal in all the nutrients and products that we put on today so I'd heard of the Cosrx snail serum all over TikTok for a very long time and I had no idea they had eye patches so as soon as I saw these in the store, I had to try them and they definitely work. And if you tend to get very teary eyed with eye products usually, these did not make my eyes water at all. Next, I'm using Smile Line patches, which if you hadn't heard of them, you definitely need these in your life. As someone who gets a lot of Smile Line wrinkles, these are really good at targeting the lines and sort of dimming them a little bit. Then I'm gonna end with some pimple patches and put that over my trouble areas. And these are really cool because there's two types that come in the pack and one of them targets more inflamed, bumpy type pimples and acne and others target acne scars that are more below the surface. And I know my face looks so crazy right now, but I went ahead and removed the smile line patches and the under eye patches before going in and brushing my teeth. When you remove teeth whitening strips, you're not supposed to brush your teeth really hard. So I just did not turn on the electric setting on my toothbrush and gently went in with my Sensodyne, which I swear by. And that pretty much completes my nighttime self-care routine for fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.